Hi, I'm Monica Bay. I'm at the University of Florida, and it's been a wonderful day today. We're doing a day-long seminar and program on eDiscovery, the eDiscovery project. I'm here with Kanan Himmelbaum, and tell us a little bit about your connections here to the University of Florida. Sure. Thanks, Monica. Um, I was a, uh, an alumni here from undergrad and from law school. Ah. So oftentimes I tell people I was here for seven years and I'm like, that took you a long time. And I, <laughs> I'm sure to tell them that it actually took me seven years, which is the right amount of time to go yeah. through undergrad and law school. Um, not only a diehard Gator, but uh, really love Gainesville, Florida as well. And, um, it's just a the, lovely, I'm just having a wonderful time. It's my first time here. Yeah, it's terrific. Yeah. Well, why don't you come back more often? I <laughs> hope to be invited back. So. Tell us a little bit about how you, your career track and how you are now involved in eDiscovery so that the students who are here now might understand a little bit better about the opportunities that are out there. Sure, and it's kind of unique. You know, obviously everybody comes to law school with different options at the end, right? Their thought process may be, I want to become a lawyer, I want to become a partner at a big law firm, and they may want to go to an environmental law. There may be many ways to do it, government agencies. For me, I really wanted to get into criminal law. And I what drove you, what drove you to criminal law? You know, I was I had a criminal justice minor from the University uh -huh. of Florida and just really enjoyed it. I thought that would be a lot of fun. I wanted to go into the courtroom, and I knew that that was one place you could immediately get to. Good point. Um, so so during the course of law school, I realized that criminal law really wasn't it, but you know, intellectual property law was what I was interested in. So I became a lawyer at a, a large regional firm in Florida and practiced for two years. And one of my corporate clients ended up hiring me to go in house. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. What kind of in-house were you doing? So the company I was with was a bodybuilding supplement company, protein, mm -hmm. energy drinks. And really, you know, the interesting thing about being an in-house attorney is you kind of practice all kinds of law. Oh, yes. Right? So it was, you know, contracts, it was IP, it was HR, it was everything. So I was the youngest of the lawyers. And they said, well, you know technology. Why don't you just be the e-discovery guy? Ah. And this was in 2005. Wow. Good timing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So just before the civil rules or the rules of civil procedure sort of changed, and yeah. e discovery became yeah. extremely important. And how did you what? How did you get intrigued by it, and where has it taken you to now? You know, it's a great question. Um, so, so really, you know, I kind of was thrown into it, as many people are. You know, if you ask people, how did you get to e discovery? You know, now today we're lucky enough at the University of Florida to have a class on it where people mm -hmm. can learn about it. But before, when I was in school, there wasn't a class on it. But I got interested here. I took a class, you know, I took a class with uh, with a professor, and it was about technology. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. When I was in house, they sort of said, okay, we have a class action litigation, and Himmelbaum's our guy. So um, I ended up I ended up going into that, and I really felt like I was working with the attorneys. I was working with all the people that were involved in the case. There was strategy, so I was practicing law again, you know. And then um, the the company ended up selling. And I went through the mergers and acquisitions process. I worked with the government agencies, the FTC. And then from there, I, uh, I ended up coming into the industry and working with Mary Mack. Oh, oh, I love Mary Mack. Yeah. She's a fabulous one. Yeah. So we're running out of time. So tell us, if you will, uh, what you're doing now for the students. And I understand that you are uh, doing uh, clerkships. That's probably the wrong word. Tell me about it. Sure, sure. So I, currently, and this is six years into the industry, oh, I'm a vice president of business development at Advanced Discovery. Okay. And I'm also doing a lot of consulting. I, ca I can't help it when I'm with my <laughs> clients to put that hat back on. But it's yeah. so much fun. I mean, we're dealing with the largest litigations in the world, things that are on the front page of the newspaper. But even more exciting is for us, you know, it's, it's to offer and come back to the University of Florida and offer students the capability to see into the industry, to come to Washington, D.C. for the summer, to work with us, work under our general counsel, work under our review managers, meet with the largest corporations and litigation counsel in the world, and really come up with strategy and search terms and all the neat things. It's not just this technology that happens behind the, the blue curtain. Yes. Um, and as much as, you know, I know you know that very well, but I want students to really understand that this is a lot of fun. I've started my career in the way that people would typically have done it, and now I've ended up in a place that I love. And well, we're running out of time, about. so yeah. I'm going to ask you one last question. What advice would you give a brand new freshman coming into the law school, or L1 coming into yes. the law school, um, especially when they're coming in with a lot more savvy on, on uh, tools than I think you and I had when we were 1Ls? Sure. Sure. Uh, all these products weren't around. I always say, uh, like, I have the Zach Morris cell phone still from back then. 
Um, you know what I, I would say to students that are coming into the law school is that when you get a good grasp around e-discovery, the case law, the technologies that's, that are being used to, to really cull down data and save clients' efficiencies, costs, is, is that you go into being a, a practicing associate. So from a 1L to a first-year associate, really having a better advantage yeah. over other associates that are coming out of law school that may have not Nothing. ever seen e-discovery. Yeah. So I'm really glad that the University of Florida offers it, and I'm glad to, as an alumni to be able to bring that back and offer students the chance to see into our world. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank I'm you. Monica Bay, and I'm glad that you are watching us.